You know, sometimes I look at situations like this. You find that uh, if I can scratch my car or I do something, I remember like some years ago when I uh, bumped my car when I was entering at, the, at my home's yard. So I ended up ruining my car, you know, I bumped into closer to a wall. Plus those times I just started driving and all. So I remember over and over, I kept recalling that, okay, maybe I shouldn't have gone there. Maybe this wouldn't have happened. Had I not driven like this, had I not first went to that place, I wouldn't have, maybe I would have come back and then slow down and then drive normally and pack my car properly. And I wouldn't have hit the wall. Look at now. I, w I, I was just wishing like I could have turned back time. Listen. Don't do it. It's going to kill you. Okay? Don't do it. Listen. Uh, death, to be killed, to be destroyed, to be hindered, to be stopped, and all these other things, they don't just start out of it happen like that. Like this. There is a beginning. There is a root. There is a source. There is where it all began. The biggest mistake that Samson made was to be married with Delilah. Had he not married there, it wouldn't have led to that. His history, their story would have been different. But it was due to that woman who is a Philistine. And then it goes, and it went, he was busy persecuting or busy against or destroying and ruining, making the lives of the Philistines miserable. And then it got to a point where they had to sit down, held a meeting, decided to, you know what, let us use his wife against him. And because she was part of the Philistines, she agreed. And she was also evil. She agreed. Had he not married her, it would have been different. So listen, there are some things that God keeps on telling you. Apply this now and forever in your life as time goes on. When the Lord says, don't do this, don't make this, don't hit this rock. When he told Moses and the Moses was like, speak to the rock and the Mo Moses hit the rock. There was no more turning back. There are some things that no matter how hard you pray and fast, it, it will never go back. The Lord won't restore. He will leave it as such. Hence, don't. I don't know exactly what God is talking to you and what he's going to tell you more in the future. But remember this way, this is for you. Don't do it. Because that death, it results from a disobedience that you made before. But I pray that may you not make mistakes. Every instruction and warning that God gives, knowing so well that if you don't obey, this one is going to be, is going to ruin you big time. May you have the grace to always obey, no matter what. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for you. Amen. Hallelujah. And of course, that's all I had. I'm Ishmael and see you next time.